Confidence isn't about being the loudest person in the room. It's about being comfortable in your own skin and projecting that assurance outwardly. Today, we'll draw inspiration from the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy to help you cultivate and display confidence, even if you naturally have a quieter demeanor. So what is Stoicism? Stoicism is an ancient Greek philosophy founded in Athens by Zeno of Sidium in the early third century BC. The philosophy teaches the development of self-control and fortitude as a means of overcoming destructive emotions. It's not about suppressing feelings, but rather transforming them through reason. The Stoics believe that we should focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, famously wrote in his Meditations, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This principle is fundamental to both inner and outer confidence. Let's also consider Epictetus, a former slave who became a renowned Stoic teacher. He taught that external events are beyond our control. We should accept whatever happens calmly and dispassionately. Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This mindset helps you maintain composure and confidence regardless of external circumstances. Inner confidence against outer confidence. Now let's differentiate between inner confidence and outer confidence. Inner confidence comes from a deep sense of self-assurance and resilience, built through self-awareness and self-acceptance. Outer confidence, on the other hand, is how this inner confidence manifests in your behavior and demeanor. The Stoics believed that inner peace and strength are essential to true confidence. Seneca, another great Stoic thinker, wrote, He who is brave is free. This bravery isn't about outward acts of heroism, but about the courage to live according to your principles and values. Inner confidence can be cultivated through self-reflection and understanding your values and beliefs. When you are clear about what you stand for, you can project a quiet yet strong confidence. This internal clarity naturally influences your outer demeanor. To project outer confidence, align your actions with your values. For instance, if integrity is a core value, act honestly and consistently. This alignment creates a congruence between your inner self and outer behavior, making your confidence appear authentic and unshakable. By focusing on these principles, you'll start to build a solid foundation of inner confidence that will naturally radiate outward, making you appear confident even if you're naturally quiet. The power of presence. Being present is a powerful way to project confidence. In today's fast-paced world, our minds often wander, but staying present allows us to fully engage with our surroundings and the people we interact with. This presence is palpable and exudes confidence. The Stoics emphasized the importance of focusing on the present moment. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Confine yourself to the present. By being mindful and fully engaged in the now, you convey a sense of calm and control. When you're truly present, you're not distracted by past regrets or future anxieties, and this focused demeanor is a hallmark of confident individuals. Practicing mindfulness can help you develop this presence. Mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. Simple exercises like focusing on your breath or observing your surroundings can ground you in the present. This practice not only reduces stress, but also helps you appear more composed and self-assured. Consider how presence impacts interactions. When you're fully engaged in a conversation, maintaining eye contact and actively listening, you show respect and confidence. People feel valued and are more likely to respond positively, further boosting your confidence. The Stoic Practice of Control One of the core tenets of Stoicism is understanding what you can control and what you cannot. This principle, known as the dichotomy of control, can greatly enhance your confidence. By focusing on what you can control, your thoughts, actions, and reactions, you empower yourself and let go of unnecessary worries about external events. Epictetus taught, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. This means investing your energy in your own responses rather than trying to change uncontrollable external factors. For instance, you can't control others' opinions of you, 
but you can control how you respond to them. By internalizing this, you maintain your composure and confidence regardless of external judgments. This principle is evident in sports. Athletes often face immense pressure, but those who focus on their own performance rather than the outcome tend to perform better. They control their training, mindset, and effort, which in turn boosts their confidence and resilience. In everyday life, practice the stoic exercise of reviewing your day and identifying what was within your control and what was not. This reflection helps you to continuously improve your responses and reinforce your sense of control, contributing to your overall confidence. Body language. Body language plays a crucial role in projecting confidence. The way you carry yourself physically can influence how others perceive you and even how you feel about yourself. The Stoics understood the connection between mind and body and used physical presence to reflect inner strength. First, consider your posture. Stand tall with your shoulders back. A confident posture not only makes you appear more assertive, but also affects your internal state. Amy Cuddy, a social psychologist, explains in her TED Talk that power posing can increase feelings of confidence. By adopting a strong posture, you can actually start to feel more confident internally. Eye contact is another essential element. Maintain steady but not overly intense eye contact. This shows that you're engaged and confident. The Stoics believed in the power of the gaze. Seneca wrote, a good character, a determined character, can look anything in the face without flinching. This doesn't mean staring people down, but rather meeting their gaze with calm assurance. Your gestures also matter. Use deliberate and purposeful movements. Avoid fidgeting or making nervous gestures as these can signal insecurity. Instead, use your hands to emphasize points in a controlled manner. This conveys that you're confident in what you're saying and doing. Additionally, pay attention to your facial expressions. A calm and composed expression can make you appear more confident. Practice keeping a neutral face, especially in stressful situations, to avoid showing anxiety or fear. The Stoics practiced this through the concept of apatheia, a state of being undisturbed by external events. Let's look at a real-world example. Consider a job interview. How you enter the room, shake hands, and sit can all influence the interviewer's perception of you. Walking in with a straight posture, making eye contact, and using confident gestures can set a positive tone. Even if you're feeling nervous inside, these outward signs of confidence can help you control the situation. In summary, your body language is a powerful tool in projecting confidence. By being mindful of your posture, eye contact, gestures, and expressions, you can influence how others perceive you and boost your own sense of confidence. These practices align with Stoic principles, emphasizing the importance of controlling what you can, your own actions and demeanor. The art of listening. Listening is a vital skill that can significantly enhance your confidence and the perception others have of you. When you truly listen, you demonstrate respect and understanding, which are key components of confident communication. Stoic philosophy places great importance on the art of listening and the value of silence. Epictetus emphasized, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This Stoic principle underscores the importance of listening over speaking. By actively listening, you gather more information, understand others better, and make more thoughtful contributions to conversations. Active listening involves several key behaviors. First, maintain eye contact to show that you are engaged. Nod occasionally and provide verbal affirmations like, I see, or that's interesting to indicate you're following along. Avoid interrupting or planning your response while the other person is speaking. Instead, focus entirely on what they are saying. In practice, consider a business meeting. If you listen attentively to your colleagues' ideas and respond thoughtfully, you'll appear more confident and composed. This not only improves your professional relationships, but also enhances your reputation as a considerate and confident communicator. Moreover, listening helps you gather valuable insights and knowledge. The more you listen, the more you learn. 
which builds your confidence in various subjects. This aligns with the stoic practice of continuous learning and self-improvement. Speaking with purpose. When you do speak, doing so with purpose and clarity is essential for projecting confidence. The Stoics valued clear and concise communication, avoiding unnecessary embellishments and focusing on the essence of their message. Seneca advised, as is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. This principle can be applied to communication. It's not about how much you say, but the quality and impact of your words. Speaking thoughtfully and purposefully makes your communication more effective and respected. To speak with purpose, start by thinking before you speak. Consider what you want to convey and choose your words carefully. Avoid filler words like um and like, which can undermine your message. Embrace pauses. They allow you to gather your thoughts and can make your speech more impactful. In addition, slow down your speech. Speaking too quickly can make you seem nervous or unsure. A slower, measured pace conveys calmness and confidence. Practice this by reading aloud or recording yourself and adjusting your pace until it feels natural. For example, in a presentation, articulate your points clearly and concisely. Use pauses to emphasize key points and give your audience time to absorb the information. This not only makes you appear more confident, but also ensures your message is understood and remembered. Remember, Confident speaking is not about dominating the conversation, but about contributing meaningfully. By focusing on the quality of your words and speaking with intention, you'll project a sense of confidence that others will respect and admire. Practical Exercises To integrate Stoic principles into your daily life and build confidence, there are several practical exercises you can adopt. These practices help reinforce the philosophical concepts we've discussed and make them a tangible part of your routine. First, consider daily journaling. Marcus Aurelius's Meditations is essentially a journal of his reflections and stoic practices. Journaling allows you to reflect on your thoughts, actions, and challenges, providing an opportunity for self-improvement. Each day, write about what went well, what didn't, and how you can apply stoic principles to improve. Another useful practice is negative visualization as mentioned earlier. Spend a few minutes each day imagining potential challenges or setbacks. This doesn't mean dwelling on negativity, but preparing your mind to handle difficulties with grace and composure. This mental rehearsal can reduce anxiety and increase your resilience. Meditation is also highly beneficial. Spend time each day in quiet reflection or mindfulness meditation. Focus on your breath and let go of distracting thoughts. This practice helps you stay grounded in the present moment, enhancing your ability to maintain composure and confidence. Incorporate Stoic readings into your routine. Spend a few minutes each day reading and reflecting on Stoic texts. Books like Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, Letters from a Stoic by Seneca, and Discourses by Epictetus offer valuable insights and practical advice. Reflecting on these teachings regularly can help reinforce your commitment to Stoic principles and strengthen your confidence. In conclusion, building and projecting confidence, even if you're naturally quiet, is achievable through the application of Stoic principles. By focusing on being present, understanding what you can control, and mastering your body language, you lay a strong foundation for confidence. Further enhancing this with the art of listening Speaking with purpose and maintaining composure under pressure solidifies your confident demeanor. Living with consistency and integrity, along with daily stoic practices like journaling, negative visualization, and meditation, helps internalize these principles and make them a natural part of your life. Remember, confidence is not about being the loudest voice, but about embodying a calm, assured presence that others respect and trust. Thank you for joining us on this journey to cultivate and project confidence through Stoic wisdom. By integrating these practices into your daily life, you'll find that your quiet strength becomes a powerful force, inspiring confidence in yourself and those around you.